Hey, it's family weekend and I thought I'd do another video. I was gonna do one last night, but I was really tired because I worked on my sculpture forever and it's coming out really well. And I actually have a picture to show you to have proof. Um, since it is family weekend, one of the few things that was going on that didn't have to do with families that I enjoyed was there was a book sale, a yard sale, and a bake sale that the library was putting on. And I got some neat things. And since we know I can never stay away from ceramics, I got this really cute strawberry bowl pitcher cup thingy for 25 cents. Look. <clears throat> this cute strawberry pitcher for 25 cents. It has their signature on it, so you can see that it's handmade, not manufactured. It is so very cute. And then... This cute teapot for 50 cents. <laughs> and then I got three books. One that is a murder mystery called uh, Murderers Prefer Blondes. I got uh, one that's supposed to be an FBI thriller called Point Blank. And then I got this really neat, uh, Japanese for Travelers, which has little Japanese phrases and little things about their culture, which I thought was really cool, and I got it for, like, 50 cents, so I was like, yay, let's totally do this for that much. Um, one thing that I really thought was neat, because we did it in class, and I think that you all should try it, because it was really neat in... I probably wouldn't have tried if they didn't force us to is um take just like 10 minutes of your day it doesn't even doesn't have to be very long and just just go out in some grass and really just like feel the texture and relax don't look at your cell phone don't look at the time don't think about the chores you have to do or the homework you might have or your job or or bills or anything like that just just lay on the grass, look up at the sky if you want to, or roll around and, and feel the texture of the grass, move it and see how every individual blade of grass moves and just do that for 10 minutes and it's really really interesting how relaxing it is and it's actually really kind of nice because it's a little eye opening in a little bit of a minor way but it doesn't really kind of expose anything to you, it just kind of, it's really nice. Just just try it. doesn't even have to be for that long. Um, and, uh, as for my dragonfly sculpture, I was in the studio almost all day working on it, and here is a picture of it, if I can get the screen to not reflect. There we are. Um, it's about three feet in length, and here's another picture of it from overhead. And here's a picture of it from above. It's made completely out of cardboard and um, hot glue, and it was incredibly difficult to make. <laughs> and then for our drawing class, we made a field collage. I don't have it with me currently because it's being graded. Um, one thing we did do as a current assignment was uh, we were in class and they were like, oh, bring your graphite sticks and everything. So we're like, okay. And then all of a sudden he's like, all right, I'm gonna give you one hour to go out and make as many rubbings as you can. So we're like, oh God. So um, we went out and did that. I'm only gonna show you my favorites because I don't like all of them. Um, I kind of like that one right there because it was basically just a keyhole that I repeated over on itself again and again. Cause we have to make a field composition collage with that. And a field composition collage since I haven't mentioned that before, is basically a collage where the eye never stops moving during the collage, where, um, like, let's say this webcam is a piece. Your eye would be drawn straight to me, obviously, and it would just, it would just stop on me. Your eye might move down the movement of my hair, you know, straight down the piece, or it might move, you know, the lines towards the back of the room, but, but that would be it. With the field composition, with the field composition collage, it would just move everywhere all the time. It would never stop. There's no focal point at all. It's it's really, really abstract. So we did that before with black and white 
uh, textures for magazine clippings, and now we're doing it with rubbings that we make ourselves. Um, this one was a crate, uh, like the, the, the holes in a crate. That's it once, and that's it repeated, because I really like how it looks when you repeat something over and over on itself. That's the texture of our stairwell floor. Okay. Um, that's, let me see. That's part of a ceramic plate that I have that I really like the texture of. That, let me see. All right, here. Right here is a belt of mine, and that is the belt repeated, and I really liked how that came out. Oh, and, um, you have to get really close to see it, but that's my keyboard, and that's my keyboard repeated on itself in different directions. I have nine pages total, but obviously I have favorites that I picked and everything. But, um, that's mostly what we did, and to become more organized because... I mean, I'm already really organized because I have my agenda and all the other things. I actually went and made this insanely, like, uh, OCD thing called a master schedule. Obviously, the webcam shows it backwards, so it's a little difficult to see completely, but it goes like 7, 7.30, 8, 8.30, 9, 9.30, da, 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 all the way down to 1 a.m. in the morning. And it goes Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And I have my classes in. And then I put in things like lunch, dinner, when I should be sleeping. And then I put in things such as uh, when I'm going to possibly work in the studio outside of class. When I have club meetings. Uh, I alloy time to read for history. I alloy time to do laundry. And it just makes it a lot easier so I don't forget things. And so then I'm like... Okay, now I see how much time I, ha I have left over to take a nap, to relax, to work in the studio if I still need more time, to read a book, or, you know, da 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 da, -da. I need to do a bunch of things, and it was really helpful and everything. It took, it's a little time consuming, but it's really worth it. Um, not too much is going on. It, it was actually so cold last night that for the very first time, even though they always have the heat on the building, and it is abysmally hot in the building all the time, for the very first time, um, Emily and I shut the window and we didn't have the fan on at night, which was a first. <laughs> and, um, and I'm excited because I'm actually trying out for um, a position on... Um, a club technically a council uh for this semester and i'm going to be training this semester for a higher position uh for the next semester because that person will be leaving and i'm really excited because it's uh it's for the campus life council and they're basically a club a council that is dedicated to making alfred feel more like home and i thought that'd be a really good club for me because well I'm so far away from home and of course I'd want to help make it feel more like home for other people and everything and I helped put in some ideas and everything and the club's going you know really well and it's really fun and everything and I'm in a bunch of other clubs already and stuff and Alfred in general is really fun it's it's time consuming and it's hard of course but we expect it's college so um I think that's pretty much it for today remember to go take 10 minutes to go lie in the grass. You don't even have to do it every day, just like once a week or, well, once, once every week or once every couple weeks. Maybe not once a month. That seems like too little. I don't know. But it's just a really good thing to try and it's really helpful and everything. Um, I think that's just about everything. It's actually really early in the day, so I don't really think I can say goodnight. So, good afternoon. <laughs> Bye.